so we can know what to do. 60 Second Sunday School. 60 Second Sunday School. 60 Second Sunday School. <laughs> Welcome to another 60 Second Sunday School. Summer is upon us and you know what that means. Vacation. Now, we know that vacation options are a bit limited these days, but we have found a solution. Now, you might remember some of my forays into artificial intelligence in prior episodes. Well, things didn't go quite as planned, and in fact, things were quite a bit scary. But, we have made some enhancements to our technology and improvements to our virtual experiences. We present to you Coronacation. Do you want to go to Paris or maybe Venice? Now these are just at a push of the button. Hmm, so where should we go for our summer vacation, honey? Ooh, well, I've been meaning to take you to Norway to visit my cousins. Ooh, and we can go to Peru and visit my family. I've been meaning to get back to my Incan roots in the mountains. Hmm, but you do know I'm afraid of heights. And, ooh, remember that llama? He just wouldn't leave me alone. Matthew chapter 11, verse 28 to 30. Come to me, all who labor and are heavy laden, and I will give you rest. Take my yoke upon you and learn from me, for I am gentle and lowly in heart, and you will find rest for your souls. For my yoke is easy and my burden is light. There are so many rules and regulations defining our lives right now, and quite frankly, it's exhausting. Here at 62nd Sunday School, we've been celebrating service, praising our church staff, and elevating creativity. But it is our Lord that invites us to rest in his protection and love. So let's make the best of our time together, and let's make this the best summer ever. I want to go to Dave and Buster's. I want to go to the water park. Guys, give it to me. You're breaking it. Oh, man, look what you did. Hi guys, you may have seen some great examples of a virtual choir performance on YouTube or on TV where you see everybody's faces all across the screen. They all seem to be singing at the same time and it looks like a live performance. Well, in most cases it's really not because there's a particular problem on the internet called lag time. Now what lag time is, is the difference in time between when I say something and you hear it on the other side of the internet on your own device. And because of that, it makes it just about impossible for singers and musicians to all play together in time with the music. So in order to fix that, we have to come up with a workaround. Now what a workaround is, is something that we do to work around a particular problem. And so let me show you how we did our own workaround here at Sparta Presbyterian Church to create our own virtual choir. First of all, Karen, our choir director, recorded the piano piece that we used for the song. Then I recorded Karen directing the choir as if the singers were right there in front of her. I sent that video to each of the singers at home so they could sing along and watch Karen directing them. Then they all recorded their parts with a cell phone or a computer. My job was to take the song and all the singing videos and put them together into one combined video. I lined them all up together, added some pictures and a nice background, and we have a virtual choir. When the oceans rise and thunders roar, I will soar with you above the storm. Father, you are king over the flood. I will be still and know you, my God. When so hopefully that inspires you to do your own video project at home. Have fun.
Thanks, Bob. That was a terrific idea and a beautiful song. Well, that's it for us, and we're going to take off on our summer vacation now. 62nd Sunday School is going on a summer hiatus, and we want to invite you to leave comments down below. We'd really like to hear what you liked, and we'd like to know what you want to see in the future. Please leave those comments, and be well, be safe, and have an awesome summer. That's it for us. Goodbye. Bye-bye.